Hey guys, it's Josh from Project Idea, where we put ideas into action. Today, we're going to be working on the Destiny 2 uh, Sunshot hand cannon. Uh, this is my take on it. Uh, it does change a little bit throughout the, the thing here, but um, here I am. We are making the template. I just printed off a picture from the internet and taped it together to about the correct size and cut that out. Once I had that all out, I went ahead and sketched it on uh, some tracing paper as well. I really didn't use this that much. Um, I mostly used the printed sheet that I had here. And here I am outlining that on a quarter inch uh, piece of plywood. Um, once I got the outline of this and all the inside pieces there, I took it to the bandsaw and went ahead and cut it out. Really didn't need that bottom piece at this time because uh, this is just going to be the center part of the gun. Right here I went ahead and used the drill press to drill out some holes uh, so that I could use the scroll saw and continue cutting out the, the holes in the plywood. Scroll saw works really good for this because you can actually remove the blade fairly easily. Right here, I had a scrap piece of wood left over from the hammer build that I had done, the, the hammer fix, and um, from one of the handles. And I used that, just rounded off the edges. And this is going to be. Um, this is going to be the cylinder for the gun. After I got it sanded and rounded off uh, all the edges and everything, see, it kind of fits in just like the cylinder of the gun would. Um, but then I drilled holes throughout different areas, just kind of spaced them all out on this cylinder piece here. Uh, I have some tape on the drill bit to kind of help guide me as to how deep I want to go on this because I want a consistent depth on all these holes. Uh, to make the little pieces, the little round pieces inside of each of those holes, I used rivets. I went ahead and used the rivets without actually applying it to anything and those rivets, I will glue those in um, each of those holes and it'll make that little detail work. Uh, here's where I'm just drill pressing a uh, little hole so that I can put the dowel in here. Um, this will allow me to uh, put the cylinder in and glue it in permanently. And it'll hold sturdy too. And here you can kind of see how that's going to work there. So I glued each one of those, uh, those pieces of the rivet the rivets into each one of those holes. After that I wanted to kind of see what this piece would look like so I went ahead and uh, coated that entire piece with plastic dip. Didn't have to do that but like I said I wanted to get a feel for what it looked like. Uh, next I cut out some uh, craft foam. Uh, this was going to be on each side of the a piece of plywood uh, so I cut one for each side here uh, just traced around the plywood and cut it all out because part of this will actually be part of the gun at the very end but I started to do both sides then I realized I'm gonna have to go ahead and trace uh, some more because I'm gonna need some thicker pieces go on top of this as well. So I went ahead and traced those onto um, the floor mats, the foam floor mats, EVA foam floor mats, before gluing this cylinder piece in. I needed it to lay flat. I uh, glued the cylinder piece in and from that point I could go ahead and glue the last piece of craft foam on the other side there. Rather than using floor mats, I would probably recommend using like a six millimeter uh, craft foam if you've got it. 
it's a little thicker. Uh, you won't have to cut it in half because basically every piece of this I had to split in half because it was a little bit too thick for what I was using. Here I went ahead and cut those pieces out and I don't need that bottom part because you don't use any of the thicker foam on that part. I'll just cut that part out as well. That's what I ended up with. That will actually get chopped up right here. I'm just marking where the handle will be. And I cut that piece out. Messed up a little bit cutting that out, but it worked out okay. And I cut the wrong piece right there. But like I said, all those were too thick. So I had to thin them down right here by splitting it down the middle. Um, I don't have the best cuts on this. Um, I'm still working on that. <laughs> still practicing my, my cutting and even with my bevels. I, I make some bevels on this here in a moment. I would definitely recommend checking out some really good uh, YouTube channels. One, uh, Bill with uh, Punish Props is really good. Uh, Andrew DFP is also very good. And Evil Ted channel is really good with uh, working with craft foam or uh, EVA foam, any of those kind of things with uh, cosplay stuff. So go check their channel out as well. They do a really good job. Lots of good tutorials. Here I just glued those pieces on uh, for the handle piece there. Like I said, I've got some bevels on there as well. That's pretty well what the handle is going to be right there. Next, I went ahead and started tracing out and cutting out the top of, I guess what you would call the barrel. Um, went ahead and cut that out. And this will also have some bevels and I'll have to split it down the middle. Like I said, the floor mats are a little too thick, so I had to thin them down a little bit for what I was using this for. Um, next, like I said, did the bevels here, uh, but next I actually glued this one side down. Don't do that. Don't glue it. Um, cause there's these little pieces that's almost like teeth in the barrel there that you need to glue down first. And I kind of had to rip all that out just to get these teeth in there. And here's, here's where I'm actually going to make those, those pieces that, that I'm calling teeth. I don't know exactly what it is, but it kind of looks like teeth on the end of the gun. Uh, but you need 12 of these pieces. <clears throat> uh, first, I actually put in the inserts inside there to cover up the plywood um, and glued that in first. And then I cut all those little pieces right here to make, I guess, what, what I call T. Again, there's six for each side. And once those were on there, it was kind of like that right there. Again, I had to rip out the other side. This is how you should have done it. Put it on there like that after those pieces right there. Uh, next, I started laying out the bottom part of the barrel of this gun. Um cut that out did the bevels on it as well and of course I had to split it down the middle there because it is a little too thick once again if you have the six millimeter craft foam that would work ten times better than that a whole lot easier then I glued that down on both sides I will have to finish this build up in the next episode, but I hope you enjoyed it and give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you will. I appreciate you guys. I hope to see you next time. Thank you.